Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out how to make your own presets. So just to start off, I think making presets and having your own presets is one of the most valuable tools that you can have. It just makes editing so much quicker, saves you a bunch of time and makes it easier for you to achieve the look that you want to achieve. So I think presets are all about efficiency. It just makes your whole workflow a lot more efficient and saves you a lot of time. So just to start off, I'm going to show you a few examples of my own presets to show you how easy it is so literally just with one click you can achieve the look that you want to get in your photos not even changing any of the settings yet this is literally just clicking once and you get the look that you want in your photos so today I'm just gonna be showing you how to create your own presets like I have as well so to start off I'm just gonna reset this photo we're gonna be using this one as the example for today so I'm just gonna do a very very basic edit just to show you guys as the example so I'm gonna bring the exposure up a bit bring up the contrast bring down the highlights take up the shadows this is all just standard stuff that I like to do in my photos as well um, just doing this really quickly so obviously you can edit the photos pretty quickly as well but the presets help you to do that with one click instead of doing all of this over and over again like I said I'm just gonna quickly edit this photo and we will achieve a certain look that we want to at the end of it so just giving it some nice colors to it adding a bit of browns in the shadows just to warm that up a bit so I'm gonna bring down the blues and already that looks really cool. I actually like this preset so much already. Uh, the detail, I'm gonna leave it where it is. Lens corrections, don't need to touch all this stuff. I'm gonna bring up the grain a little bit. I feel like this is quite filmy and I actually really like this preset even though it took me so quick to do. Anyway. Say for example, that is the look that we want to achieve on our photos and we are happy with that and we think that could work with all our other photos as well. So the first thing you want to do is just go to the presets tab on the left over here and all you want to do is click on this plus icon and this will bring up the options menu for creating your presets. So obviously to start off, you just have to give your preset a name. So I'm just going to call this brown film for example and then you're going to want to choose a folder to where this must be saved so i've created hundreds of presets over my time editing and also have so many folders to go along with it but i'm just going to go with user presets for now that is the standard default folder that lightroom would usually give you when it comes to the settings of your presets i suggest leaving auto tone unchecked i suggest leaving white balance and exposure unchecked as well as well as the graduated and radial filters this is just because each picture will have a different lighting situation a different white balance and different filter needs so you can't really apply these settings to every single photo because then it'll kind of just distort it and it doesn't work the best trust me on this uncheck white balance uncheck exposure and check the graduated filters. Other than that though, you can leave all the others as they are and you just click on create. And this will put the preset down in your user presets tab. Really easy, so now you can go to any of your other photos. If we go to this one for example, the skyline of Manhattan, it's so beautiful. And all we need to do is click on brown film and that'll immediately put the preset on. Now, obviously the presets aren't gonna be one click solutions all the time and you might need to adjust the settings accordingly for each picture, but it still makes the process a lot quicker. So all I would do for this one is just bring up the exposure a little bit and you can do this by hitting the plus key on your keyboard and that'll bring up the exposure. So there we go, I'm happy with that and that looks really cool. Here's just another example, a bit more of a cropped in shot. You can click on brown film again, applies the preset, we can bring out the exposure and there we go really really that easy we can go do something completely different if we go over to santorini photos would work well with this preset as well so if we just click on that and click on brown film see how that applies to it it looks good so i think that this preset could do a bit of adjusting so another thing that i'm glad this preset hasn't worked out perfectly is that you can adjust the presets as well and update them so all you would need to do is I think the shadows on this preset need to come up a bit more and maybe just bring the contrast down a little bit. And then all you need to do is go back to your brown film preset and right click on that and hit update with current settings. And again, just make sure that those settings are checked that I mentioned earlier. Click on updates and that'll update your preset to the settings that you have now. So you can go to another one, click on brown film and there we go. It really is as easy as that actually looks really nice on this plain shot as well. Just one last point on making and creating your own presets is if you wanna save this to your hard drive, share it with friends or even sell it online, what you need to do is right click on your preset again and click on export. 
and this you can just save it really to anywhere on your computer you just hit save and then that preset will show up on your desktop so you can do with it what you please so i've made another video as well that should be going up at exactly the same time as this which shows you how to sell your lightroom presets so Going from the stage of creating your own presets to selling it on Instagram and making a bit of extra income for yourself through your creativity. So I'd highly suggest checking that out if you wish to do so. Until then, I'm going to end this video over here. I hope you guys have learned something. I hope it's been very helpful. And if you did like it, please leave a like on the video. It would really mean a lot to me and would help this video out. If you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button for new tutorials every single week as well as my own adventure videos and vlogs. In the meantime though, stay weird, don't die, make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.